Oh, another loss. Another fucking loss. Ten. Ten losses in a row. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I didn't expect this game to, uh, to be as close as it was, so I'm really fucking shocked that, uh, it ended the way it did. First of all, to give a proper crow, you gotta congratulate, you know, uh, Tyson, your king is here. Um, HGL Legacy, Andrew F, Pats for Life BB, and Byron the Pats fan. I think he's, he's new. He seems pretty cool. He does recaps and a little trash talking, you know what I'm saying? He's kind of new to this. But, uh, anyways, want to talk about the game. You know, Case Keenum has, still has an 86% quarterback passing rating. Uh, he had one rushing touchdown. Can't complain about that. Um, basically, we were up 17-7 at halftime. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, I'm just drinking and enjoying social hour, just, you know, talking to the little females, walking the side, just doing my thing, you know. And we're up 17-7. to Even Jonathan Joseph, a player who I bashed. Y'all know I bash Jonathan Joseph all the time. That bitch had a pick on Tom Brady. I was fucking shocked. I couldn't believe it. Um, I'm glad Schaub's not in. Um, overall, I mean, it was a good game. The second half, the New England Patriots adjusted right off the bat, started the first drive, passed to Gronkowski, passed to Elderman. They're running the ball with uh, LeGarrette Blunt, and uh, Gronkowski had the touchdown on the opening drive of the second half, 17-14. And I knew right then and there, game was fucking over. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I said the game is over. All in one fucking drive of the third quarter. When your defense sucks that fucking bad. Now, of course they got the ball back. They scored again. And took the lead. 21-17. Then um, Case Keenum, oh, Ben Tate had a touchdown, which, by the way, um, Ben Tate had three touchdowns. And I guess he's auditioning for another team, whatever team he decides to go to, you know? And uh, honestly, I say we should keep Ben Tate, but I don't think they are because they say he's injury prone, yada, yada, yada. Um, some people say, oh, well, Ben Tate's not that good. It's just the, the New England Patriots defensive line was that bad. I'm not going to lie. I saw Tyson's uh, victory lap speech. He was correct on a lot of the things he said about his defensive line being horrible. It was atrocious. I mean, his defensive line is just as bad as ours. Just as fucking bad as ours. And I know New England finds ways to win, but he knows, Andrew F. knows, all these other guys know, in order for New England to be successful in winning the Super Bowl, their defensive line must improve. It was horrible. When you let Ben Tate rush for three touchdowns on you, it's fucking atrocious. Um... New England won, I think, Grotowski or Steven Grotowski, whatever his name is, um, kicked the game, won a field goal. I actually walked out of the fucking stadium with, like, three minutes left. We had the ball. I knew something was going to happen on that drive. Plus, I was trying to beat traffic. So I was trying to get home. I was like, fuck that. I don't want to be in this fucking traffic. And I heard over the loudspeaker, fourth and thirteen. Case Keenum got sacked, and I was like, whoa, thank God I already got a mild head start on the, uh, you know, rest of the fans that are sitting in the stands, because I went down the escalator, walked a mile to my car. <coughs> I say, <clears throat> the funnest time I was there was when I had two black girls sitting on me. They came up to me, they said, Steve Rowe, well, they didn't say Steve Rowe, but in my mind, they said Steve Rowe, but they said, you know, you're very... You know, you're very sexy for a white boy, Hispanic, whatever nationality you is. So I was talking to them. We was chopping it up. They worked for the stadium. Um, they didn't exchange numbers with me, but, you know, they was just telling me that they liked my swag. They thought I was real sexy. Da, 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 da. But, you know, I am the sexiest man alive, and I get that anywhere I go. Ladies fall beneath my feet. And that's besides the point. But that's besides the point. Let's get back to the game. Um... Basically, Tyson was right on a lot of things, a, a lot of things, but um, I wanted to comment on Antonio Smith's allegations of cheating. I was at the game personally, and I'm just, I'm telling you, to God's honest truth, there was no fucking cheating going on. It was a fair game. 
fair and square. I mean, if the Patriots, let's just pretend. Let's let's just fucking pretend that the Patriots were cheating. For us to lose by fucking three points after leading 17-7 at halftime must have been some kind of fucking game. For them to cheat and for us to lose like that, I mean, come on, man. The Patriots did not cheat. And um, Tyson doesn't know this, but um, it wasn't just Antonio Smith that was accusing um, the New England Patriots of cheating. There were other Texans players who came out and said, there was no way with the adjustments that we had on our defensive scheme, there was no way they could have adjusted to that. I mean, let's just think on a common logic basis. You got an offensive line, or uh, an offensive line, like five, six guys, right? You got your tight ends, your left guards, your right guards. Then you got your defense. You got a bodies of guys dancing around in a trench, right? How the fuck did they cheat? I mean, let's just think logically. How did they cheat? It, it, it just doesn't make any sense. You got guys that are clashing in between each other. They're going to double team Watt. That's common fucking sense. They're going to put two guys on J.J. Watt. They're going to put two guys on him. And Antonio Smith, I mean, you don't have to double him. Um, his stats have actually been declining. Maybe he's frustrated because we lost 10 in a row. And this whole city is frustrated. But you know what? We got Case Keenum. We got a future quarterback. We can draft somebody in the first pick. We can even trade down. Because I know uh, there's not a high draft class on uh, on um, on, on linemen and shit like that. Secondary. There's not a lot of options in the secondary in this draft. So it wouldn't make sense. It would probably make sense to draft a quarterback, or at least that's what I'm hearing. But if not, we may have to draft the offensive linemen and just take our chances. But I like Case Keenum. I like what he brings to this team. And uh, we got a good future. So even though we lost 10 in a row, this team fights every game. Keenum is 0-6 as a starting quarterback. 86 quarterback percent passing rating. He's thrown for eight touchdowns. Yes, he has three fumbles. Yes, he has three INTs. But in just six games, he equaled up Matt Schaub stats just like that. Matt Schaub has more interceptions than he does. And Matt Schaub played in um, more games than Keenum has. So, Keenum is a mobile quarterback, and that's what this team needs. No more of that finesse, pocket quarterback passing, unable to run bullshit. We need a, a quarterback that can run, that can run the option, that can scramble, and can be able to get rid of the football when being blitzed. That's the only thing really Keenum's got to work on. But um, nonetheless, New England Patriots... Deserve to fucking kick our ass. We they only won by three points, so I don't really consider it an ass kicking. But, you know, they had their dog. We had our dog. We went in a dog fight, and their dog came out the winner. And they deserve this win. New England is a good organization. They had 13 straight winning seasons. Bill Belichick's a genius. Kraft is a genius. And Tom Brady is probably, arguably, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. And I would defy anybody to tell me otherwise. And that's just being smart. That's not being a fucking fan, you know, being a fan of your team and being like, oh, you know, this guy sucks or this guy fucking sucks because he's not a Texan. You know, fuck that bullshit, dude. Fuck that shit. I'm just going to admit it flat out. Tyson, Tom Brady will always own the Texans. You know what I'm saying? Now to get to the bet. Um, the bet was... And I'm just going to say it right now. Let's just get this over with. You know, I am your bitch. Straight up, Tyson. I am your bitch. You are my God. I worship the ground you walk on. Um, the Patriots are always better than the Texans. And uh, Brady's the best of all time. You are the true king. And I normally, you know, now that I'm out of my bet, um, I normally don't admit this to a lot of people, but I'm going to say this right now. Tyson is the best trash talker in the TTC. And he's also the best video editor in the TTC. And I'm not saying that because 
I'm kissing his ass, and I'm not saying it because it's part of the bet. I'm saying it's because it's the truth. He is the best, and it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, you got some other guys like The Voice. You know, I, I you know, I mean, there's a hand, there's a handful. L.J. Howard's coming up. Um, you got Megatron. I mean, you got a bunch of guys. Seahawks two four seven. I mean, you got new guys coming up, but. If, if you were to compare who's the best, in my opinion, I think Tyson is the best. That's just my personal opinion. And I love trash talking against him in the offseason. It was fun. Um, but you deserve this win. And your Patriots did everything they could to get the W. Um, you have a Class A organization who is committed to winning. And I can't hate you for that. I can't fucking hate you for that. And the reason why a lot of people hate your fucking team is because they wish their organization was like yours. Committed to excellence. Committed to winning. Committed, committed to winning championships. I mean, 13 winning seasons in a row. Bill Belichick's last losing season was what, his rookie season? 7-9, and nine, some shit like that. Come on, man. I wish my organization was like that. Now I'm going to address something. I'm going to address, address something. I heard from a birdie, a little birdie, that fucking Gary Kubiak has got a three-year extension. I hope and pray to God that shit's not true because I'm telling you right now, if, he, if that motherfucker so much as gets an extension, I'm going A shit. I'm going to go on a fucking one-hour spree fucking rant, and I'm going crazy in this motherfucker. It, I, I swear to God, he better not fucking get an extension. I'm telling you right now, I will revoke my season tickets because this is bullshit. I cannot stand another three years of predictability. We need a coach that's going to shake up the system. I don't want to bore anybody. I don't want to fucking ramble anymore. But, um, you know, Tyson, you are the better team. Um, you deserve to win. So, peace out.